what's up ballistic ballistic beats ballistic productions back with another video today i'm gonna be working in ableton i got a few questions on how i use my mpc and the complete control in ableton and get everything to sync and work together the way they're supposed to so i figured i will make a video to uh explain that process and show my process a little bit so yeah the beat it's probably going to be basic i just really want to show like the workflow and how i get everything through and i don't want to overthink anything so um let's just get right to it the first thing that you would want to do is open up let's see you want to open complete control as a vst the way that everything works in Ableton is you have to use the VST versions of the MPC and the complete control uh, to get everything to work together the way you want. So now that I have complete control open as a VST, I can go in the menu under instruments and all of my uh, plugins show up here. So I'm basically running a plugin and a plugin. So complete control is kind of like a wrapper. Uh, so I'm going to open Omnisphere from there. I'm going to go to my Keyscape Creative and try to find something to make a basic melody or chorus with or whatnot. So yeah, now uh, you'll see this area up here shows the scale function of the complete control it can also be controlled from the uh, keyboard itself i know you can't see that but you see the uh the settings move so you can use either or the mouse is cool or you can do it from here but i'm gonna choose minor e flat and i'm gonna put this on a uh, easy actually for this one i'm gonna put it on chords and you can see uh if i turn this function on all right so as you see uh, i can change the chords under type what type of chord you want to play and i can play the same key change it change it to the seventh chord go down an octave I'm gonna go to the chord set option and there's other chords there for each key. It's still in a E flat or D sharp. So I'm gonna turn on my loop. I'm gonna turn on my count off. I got a count in of a bar. And let's see here. Quantize. Cut off this excess over to make it four bars. Highlight. Duplicate. Got that. So we got these basic uh, chords going. So I'm going to go to Atmosphere. Now I just want to put like a little basic melody over the chords.
just freestyling that and pretty much anything I hit is going to be in key. And of course you can still uh, put your plugins and everything on there. Like if I want to throw a halftime on there. Not about to mess around too much with that. Let's get to the next step. Um, so you're going to open up the MPC as a VST. MPCs and VSTs. <laughs> Let me find some drums. All right, we'll work with that. I'm going to change my bars here. I could actually change it here or on the NPC. I'm going to set it to eight bars to match my uh, loop there. I'm going to go in here. The first time you do it, you would want to go into uh, edit preferences on your NPC hardware. You want to make sure record overdub is set to NPC plugin, not to host all. When it's set to the plugin, you can uh, arm record and everything right here. And if you see up here, that triggers that. So I'm actually triggered that, hit full level. And when I play the session here, it'll play the NPC and I'll just start recording because the NPCs record arm not able to. take that halftime off it sounded like something was clashing there enough of that all right so once you have your melody in ableton your uh drums and the npc you want to go to your menu edit track explode and now i have all of my drums on separate tracks and i will start with this first one which is the claps you want to click this little wave up here. This will export the audio as a wave. 
and you also have the option to export the MIDI to like your uh, DAW that you're in. So I'm gonna click. It quickly uh, renders it to Wave or whatever. Just drag it over. We'll drag it right in there. Boom. Then I'm gonna click the NPC. Go to the next track. 808. Audio. Drop that in there. Go to the next one. Same thing. And go to the next one. And once again. Of course, I have my Ableton set to warp everything so it'll make it off a little. Just turn that off for each one. I'm going to turn off the um, MPC channel altogether. Yeah, I even turn the volume down. I just don't want it to mix in with my stuff at all. So I keep it there in case I want to add more drums or um, change up something. So you can just mute it. Close it up and just keep it there and move it up to the top or something out the way. And I know this beat ain't all that. It's just, like I said, just to show you what it is. But now, here's everything together. That's pretty much it. You can get your uh, mixing going on from there. And that is how I like to do my drums in here. I haven't messed around with Ableton, like the simpler and everything. I know a lot of people do that. I've done it a couple times, but I just ain't got used to it. Like I used to use my MPC with Logic a lot the same way since the MPC Studio came out or whatever. And um, I've just been doing it that way ever since. So I'm either doing that in Logic with the MPC or uh, FL Studio, but I got Ableton a few months ago and I'm just gonna start using it even more. So um, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. I really wanna hear your comments, anything else you wanna see or you have any questions or uh, just whatever, let me know. And just make sure to subscribe. My channel is still new, so uh, every subscription counts. And it just really helped me to see that support and it's motivating to keep pumping out the videos. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.